Why can't you find love? How long have you really been single? Really? Having trouble finding that special soulmate? I can solve this one. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Your love trouble? Over. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, Your Honor, and welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. Thank God it's cloudy, irritable, easily triggered, I'm afraid, for the Librans today through the weekend. I know it's been a tough transit. This is the last couple of days where it will feel tough. The moon is now in Virgo. It's nearly full. It's like 98, 97, 96% full, but it's putting emotional focus on your subconscious. So you are triggered. Triggered by the past, triggered by your fears, triggered by old worries, triggered by your karma, triggered by consequence and fate. And really, this is a time where you need to get spiritual. So if you really feel miserable, it's time to get spiritual, spiritual. <laughs> I'm not going to sing too much for you, but maybe that takes you into a bit, a bit of a mood. You might want to meditate. You might want to get on the treadmill. You might want to do some Buddhist chanting, something that pulls you into spirit and holds that space. Now, zip into the sun, adding to the irritability. We're at 29 degrees Aquarius. This is the final and last degree of the Aquarius vibration. This is the degree that tends to tempt you back. All month long, Libra's are working to connect back to their heart chakra, to find love, to find joy, to find your personal dreams, to find true romance, and to stand in that space and hold it, okay? So whatever it is that pulls you out of that space might try to pull you out today, including your karma and your past. If you find yourself going back in the space, you didn't fail, but you do need to figure out who left that garden gate open. How'd that weed come back in here? I thought I worked on that all month. How'd that happen? So don't judge yourself. That won't serve you whatsoever, but do figure out how it happened. And this weekend, sun changes out into a new vibration. Tomorrow we're at zero degrees Pisces. I always say zero means zero. It is that weird no man's land between two states of awareness. It will make the day somewhat surreal, but I think you're going to find that the energy on the earth starts to calm down, especially on Sunday when the sun is one degree. And Jupiter is squaring Pluto for the next couple of weeks. This has probably already been in effect, but you are now starting to work out fears, okay, between your self-nurturing and your desire to self-nurture and how that affects your relationships. So how does your childhood affect your relationships? How does your relationship affect your self-nurturing? How do relationships affect your home and family situation? You'll be working through fears between these two things for the next couple of weeks. Remember, Jupiter is trying to help Librans expand and broaden their relationship with others and to themselves. It's got to be bigger, it's got to be brighter, it's got to be better. And if your home life or childhood is in the way, there's going to be some issues. And it's Friday. We've got Astro Gossip Live today with DJ David Palmer and myself. Boy, it has been a tumultuous week for headlines, right? Iran raising up, rising up in protest. Egypt is still protesting. You don't need any more proof, I think, to see that the planets are wreaking havoc on Earth. And David and I are going to talk about all the headlines and the planet influences behind them everywhere, Soul Garden Streams. All right, Your Honor, that's all I have for your weekend forecast, but I'll see you on Monday in Pisces. Live, love, be. Soul Garden.